Welcome, duelists, to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. It's a very nice, <laughs> thank you, very nice old game about our favorite uh, card game franchise of all time. Um, this game is a lot of fun, and it's also a lot of RNG, and it's very unfair, and that's why we love to play it. <laughs> but exactly for that reason, we are today playing the 15-card variant. What does that mean? Well, that means that each time we win against an opponent, instead of getting one card, we get a whole booster pack with 15 cards. And we need those because um, we're going to um, pass by a lot of farming time and we need a lot of cards and a lot of good cards in order to beat the game because it's very difficult. Right then. Um, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. Let's kick it off. Um, three, two, one. Go. Right, we have a cute little name entry. Right. So this game was usually developed in uh, 1999. Um, that's a bit of a time. The anime aired in 2002, so um, the trading card game did not exist at that time yet. Uh, we're playing with a system that was um, that's a little bit different. We're going to see uh, what it's about very soon. As for the law of this game, um, the fella that we just saw there, that's Hai Shin. He's going to destroy and rule over Egypt. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> interesting, right? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is check our deck. It's randomized. It has 37 monsters and 3 magic cards. And I'm going to check real quick if it's runnable. We might want to restart the game if it's not doable. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna take that. That's pretty good. Right, so I have to beat some dialogue. I have to go here. I have to make the right inputs. Sorry, that was a misinput. First time for everything. That's fine, we can do it again. Right, perfect. Uh, that allows us to skip a whole section of Egypt one that we just saw. Um, and now we have a bit of dialogue right here. It's gonna take some time. Um, so how do we play this game? Uh, well, you have monsters with attack and defense values. And just like in the anime, you can put them in attack position. Like... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, like this way. Or in defense position, which you put it sideways. And uh, depending which position you take in... Um, that will account for the according value of attack or defense. Um, what else? The main mechanic of this game, it's about fusing monsters. That's why we are looking at the deck to see if we have the certain type of monsters with us. What we are um, personally looking for are thunders and dragons. Because dragons especially because dragons are the best! And a couple of others which uh, will help us make uh, big monsters out of thin air. Anyway, for the law right now, um, we are currently being attacked. Surprise, surprise. There is Haishin. Uh, he's going to block our way because we are fleeing from the destruction. Uh, he's dueling us. And funny enough, this is the first duel that we have to lose. Or rather the one and only, but it's the first duel that we have to play. Um, you can beat this guy. But it's not advisable because if you do, it uh, turns out that Haishin is a sore loser and he just battles you again. So we just put down some low-value monsters. He comes in with the Meteor or Bee Dragon. We're gonna see them more often. Maybe we will also get him, but uh, so that we will get later. Now we just uh, attack into the big guy. Difference is dealt. It's damaged our life points. We start with 8,000. Right, the next turn we are going to lose this one. Very sorry about it. Time to go to the Shadow Realm. Alright, that was a pretty good duel. There are also chances that he plays a big monster sideways in defense position, and that's going to lose us some time. Uh, that is fine, though. Alright, there's the dialogue. Did some skipping. Alright, we did it. Alright, we shared the Millennium Puzzle. We are going into the puzzle and this wonderful MC Escher painting. And now, 5,000 years later, a boy named Yugi assembled the Millennium Puzzle. And we're also at a tournament right now. Hey, it's Joey!
All right. So we still have some bit of uh, exposition to uh, go through. Telling us that there's a big tournament going on. It's hosted by the Kaiba Corporation. You know the one. We will see the man right now. There he is, in all of his glory. Wonderful. All right. All right. Tea is also working in the card shop. That's not uh, much interesting, very. But uh, here we start with our first duel. It's Rex Raptor. And now we actually start winning. At least I hope. Now it's time to show you how this game really works. We will try uh, some fusions, otherwise we will just toss cards, because that's a bit different. We start with five cards, you see that right here. Uh, and we're gonna make... We're gonna put these two together, because they make an angry old man. Hey, that makes sense! And we've got a 1500 attack monster. That is definitely going to beat Rex. The strongest monster that he can play is... Uh, uh, what was it? I think uh, Clown Zombie with 1,350. I will try to... I think we are safe to attack in this one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, as you can see, those are just vanilla monsters. Uh, Immortal of Thunder, for ex uh, example, in the TCG has an effect. It would be an orange and it does something. We don't have effect monsters in this game. Also, we can do this. We put a plant, or rather, we put a female on a beast and it makes a cat girl. That also makes sense. Uh, some of these fusions are kind of context sensitive. You can kind of make it up. If you put a fire monster on a dog, it um, it's a fire dog and also has three heads and it's very big. This is pretty good for us. Are right, we gonna try to beat this duel as fast as possible? Uh, see if we can make any other cool fusion happening. Yeah, that's a thunder snail because we put a thunder and a water together. Uh, let me check my math real quick, but I think... No, that's not lethal yet. Or is it? No, that's lethal. It's exact lethal. Never mind, it's not. How do I math? I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I cannot read and I cannot do math. <sighs> that's fine. Next turn we should be... That is also fine. And we win this. Just play a monster. We are not playing Raigeki because that lowers our rank. There are uh, ranks in this game each time you win a duel. And those determine what kind of cards we get. So let's see what we are getting. That is still an A rank that is good. I'm gonna tell why that's important in a second. Right, we've, put the, we've beat the first duelist. And now it's time to do some little farming because we need some better monsters. Um, the next opponent is going to be Weevil. Weevil Underwood with insects. And the power creep has already gone up very far. We got some good stuff already. Right, get rid of this. Uh, need some time to think. Dragon Zombie is a pretty good one. Uh, yes, you can also put these two in. All right, that's good. So we went to Duel Master K. Um, Nobody knows who he is, but he has the exact same deck as us. With all of the exact same cards. Um, but he also, when we beat him, has a pretty good chance of dropping Thunder Monsters, which we very much need so. So we try to beat him as fast as possible. I'm thinking maybe... Ah, let's see. I think three to four times should be enough. So we are spending a bit of time farming. Um, and see if we can update our deck to a very good standard. Right. Uh, so I th uh, said something about uh, dual ranks a couple of minutes ago. Um, depending on which rank you get, you get specific cards. So, for instance, if you have a high power rank, we just got an A power rank on uh, Rex before. Uh, we have a good chance of getting strong monsters, such as the Crawling Dragon number 2 that we got and the Dragon Zombie. Um, if, for instance, you, there's also tech ranks for technical, um, with which you get strong uh, spell and trap cards. We're going to that in a bit. Uh, let's see about later in the run in, what, 40 minutes, I think. That's why, uh, where we're going to start those uh, ATEX, remember that. Uh, because you have to make specific uh, 
play a duel out in specific uh, requirements to achieve that rank. It's a bit hard. But there are some cards on SA Tech that uh, we definitely need. Uh, let's see what we got on this run. It's another Thunder that's good. Right. Uh, let's see if we can... This gets out. I have a couple of these, so these are good. Not the Wicked Worm Beast, that's not good. Uh, Sero here is good. Water Element, yeah, and that's already good. So we have two Dragons and three Thunders already. Right, as I said, we're gonna spend some time here. Uh, if you have donations, it's a good time to read them out. Guardian Sebik donated five dollars. Oh dear. Dia Worst Peter, bring it to Neku and good luck sees. Thank you very much. Oh uh, dear, that's gonna be a fun one. Also, we just uh, got to witness the absolute best fusion in the game that we can make. It's the twin-headed thunder dragon. Uh, which you can make with dragons and thunders, luckily enough. Um, this is one of the monsters that has the highest attack among uh, fusions, and we will see him very, very often in the rest of the run. At least I hope so. There are some other good monsters that we might get to see, such as the Meteor Bee Dragon we saw at the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna try something else here. But that is fine. I'm gonna put it in defense and see who will attack me. All right, that's a lot of damage. Wonderful. All right, next card. It should be all fine. We have big monsters, and uh, yeah, see, that's right. That is absolutely fine. Can we still make? All right, we make another. So we put fire on a beast. And there's the Flame Cerberus. Please do not put your pants, uh, your uh, pets on fire. That would be bad. <laughs> okay, another duel done. Let's see what else we get. Uh, you can also, in this variant, cycle through cards in a different way. It's gonna put it. But that's that is looking. Oh, that is looking really good. You know what? I think I'm gonna. We're gonna advance from here. That saves us some time. We got a couple of very good thunder. Monsters and also a dragon. Alright, our next opponent is Weevil Underwood. His strongest card is a Jirai Gumo. It has 2200 attack. We got four bolt penguins. Uh, two more dragons. That, well, that is so good. It's actually really, really good. Uh, put these out. This one is good because it's also fire. Good. So we have a couple of dragons and thunders in our deck. The count is pretty good. We have a couple of fire things. We also have a couple of female uh, cards. That's actually that subtype that's called female. So the, you have some female fusions such as this one. If you uh, put a plant monster on a female, it makes a Queen of Autumn Leaves. Let's see if that gets us through. Oh, sorry. Let's click. This is the one uh, that we need. And the Flame Cerberus that instantly wins us this duel. So what do we have here? It's a tree. Worst you could have possibly played at that moment was a Cocoon of Evolution, which has 200, uh, 2,000 defense. And we need a big monster to get over that. The Queen would have not been enough. Uh, this is also another Queen of Autumn Leaves. Right, so we should be fine. Oh, what a top deck, my goodness. But watch this. So this is a thing called Guardian Star, the flashing thing that you just saw. Um, every time you play a monster, it has um, two Guardian Stars, and they kind of work like the uh, super effective things from Pokémon, such as um, Water Beats Fire or Thunder Beats Water, in those kind of regards. And as I said, each of them have two, two different modes. Um, sometimes switching those Guardian Stars will be very advantageous for us. Uh, the Flame Cerberus, for instance, also has the um, Pluto one that is for uh, Thunders. So that helps us beat um, water monsters that are pretty beefy. 
we find? Can I get to a B rank? Oh, this is perfect. You also have spell cards in this game. Rageki destroys all monsters on the opponent's field. There's also Dark Hole, uh, but we did not get that one. Uh, we could have gotten that in the starter deck, but they chose not to. Right, that's a good B rank. Uh, and Dark Hole in this game also works differently because it destroys all cards on the field, not just monsters, just uh, like you would know from the TCG. All right, time to move on. Our next opponent is My Valentine. Uh, what do we get? A lot of... Yeah, that's good. Uh, what else do we put out? This can go... Uh, we don't need this anymore. This is not so great. All right. Dark World Thorns. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, we put Mushroom Man in our deck. Willingly. That's going to be... Let's see what we draw. And that is a pretty good start. We still have Yami. Yami is our field spell. There are also field spells. Uh, what, six different of them? We're going to need Umi very soon, because we can change the field, and it will also change the appearance. Um, and depending which type of monsters you will see... Uh, this is not a good hand, sadly. Uh, they will get a field power boost of 500 attack and defense. But that start is pretty fine. We can still win this duel pretty quickly. We'll see if the Dark World Thorns will survive here. It will not, sadly. That leaves us room for, to do more better fusions. Like this one. Still know this one. It's a dog and a fire, and that makes good stuff. Well, you put it in Pluto, so we get a power boost. Um, if you have a winning Guardian Star, in that battle, the winning monster gets 500 attack and defense. Just for that single attack. It's going to be very relevant at the end of the game. Uh, this also makes pretty good monster, because we know that it's the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Dragons are very versatile when it comes to fusions. You can put a plant on it, you can put a stone on it, you can put a water on it, and then a dragon, uh, then a thunder to make a uh, big Twin-Headed guy. Perfect. All right, this might be a B rank, though. It's still A, right, that's perfect. We still want an A rank because uh, Mike can give us uh, another dragon or even more thunders on that rank. If we were to get a B, C or D rank, that would have not gotten us a thunder. Right, our next opponent, it's Keith. Now he may be a bit of a hurdle, but we'll see what else we can get. There's some stuff, right? Um... We have to cut down some good stuff already. We want this. We don't want more right now. Our deck is pretty good for the World Tournament. So let's see if we can make some good stuff happen. Uh, this... Mm. Right, we have to cycle through some cards. The strongest card that uh, Keith can play is a Zoa, which has 2600 attack. In all other cases, this would be an unbeatable board, so let's see what he plays. Now that is fine, but that has 2,000 defense, so... Best out is actually to play a Raigeki here. Turn sideways and then attack. Let's see what else he plays. Still maybe a 2,000 brain. Oh, that's a Dark Elf. That beats us. Right, this is the first tight spot that we are in, because we cannot make something that we can really get over. We still have to play defensively. Trust me, I tried to put it sideways. It's a bit of an error, it's fine. It should be fine. So long as we draw into more better stuff. Oh, that's good. There we go. There we go. That's our out. We can put that out first. Keith is likely to play another monster in defense. All 
Alright, we have control of the duel once again in our hands. So sadly that means we are not getting an SA POW. Um, wow, Blocker, thank you very much. Should have seen it coming. Doesn't matter, it waits one turn, but it's still fine. Uh, what else? Alright, this is also fine. Uh, we can make a plant into a zombie and another one that makes a big pumpkin. Hey, that also makes sense, right? Alright, get rid of this. Uh, if we are unlucky, this may be another... No, that's not a blocker. Alright, we're getting through. So it's a bit of an AI thing. Um, usually, um, when we control monsters but the AI doesn't, they will, also, uh, they will always play a monster. And they will always start with the strongest monster that they have in hand. And um, gradually, or usually as the duel progresses, uh, their monsters will get weaker by the, uh, as the turns pass. We can use that to our advantage. Alright, that's Keith done. That is also the first half of the World Tournament. Pretty good going. Did some errors, but that's still fine. 20 minutes in, that's a good, good enough time for a showcase, yeah. And usually, if you would go for PB attempts, um, things are going a bit differently. You really want to start with a good deck, with a really, really good deck. And then keep moving on, getting the really good drops. Otherwise, you are going to reset very early. So we have some more exposition. Uh, the reason why we are taking part at the World Tournament is um, all of the Millennium items are present, and we need to get them all to get back to Egypt and become the pharaoh once again to save Egypt. Until then, if you have more donations, this is the best time to read them. Crystal Croft donated $25. Hey. Stay determined, bro. Two hearts. Well, thank you very much, bro. Right, there is the first and last mark shot that we're going to see of uh, the pharaoh that we're going to play as uh, later on in the game again. Still more dialogue to beat. We are almost through. We also have to beat Chadi in the next round. And funny enough, he's going to be a lot weaker than the other duelist that we saw. So we might breeze through. This is also the moment where we are deliberately trying to get B ranks. Uh, what else? Did we get anything? No, we can leave it at that. Uh, because Shadi can drop uh, equip cards. Uh, equips also are very finicky in this game because most of them only work on specific monster types. Um, how do we make this one? Uh, for things like uh, beast fangs, which we are looking for right now, only work on beasts or on monsters that have uh, strong teeth. Uh, Shoutouts to Mega Thunderball for taking beast fangs. Um, and Steel Shell, the equip that we... Yeah, this one, uh, that we have in the game already. Um, only works on monsters that have shells. So we're basically looking for equips that work on the Twin-Handed Thunder Dragon, such as Beast Fangs. We might also get a look onto Dragon Treasure. And some other stronger equips that work on every monster type, which, are, which we are going to farm for and hopefully get later in the run. Right. If for some reason some cards do not fuse, you just toss them away out of the game into the graveyard that also does not really exist. You cannot view your graveyard. It's not like in the TCG. But for the rest of the game, they are gone. So you can cycle pretty much through the deck. And as you may have saw, uh, seen, you always draw up to um, five cards per turn and not just one. Alright, this should be a B rank. Manny Tabak. Oh, luckily he doesn't have the effect that destroys one of our monsters. That would be a pickle. Anyway, this should be a good B rank. Hopefully we get the Beast Fangs. We will check that soon. It's a B. Good.
And we've also acquired our first Millennium items. Also the best time to do some safety saves. Because opponents are going to be gradually stronger than I, uh, right now. For instance, this is Bakura. And he's going to play very defensively. Things that have 3,000 defense. We are All right, we did not get the Beast Fangs. That's a bit sad. This might have also made this duel a little easier. But that is okay. Uh, let's see what we get. We are getting... Uh, not what we need. So I'm going to toss these four cards onto the field. Does not take... Oh, wait, it takes the Steel Shell. Wow. Um, certified, that never happened before a moment. <laughs> uh, Raigeki's pretty good. Right, what was that monster that he played? That might be a castle... Steel Ogre Grotto, that's a really weak start. We still cannot get over that. Back row? Alright. First time that an opponent is playing back row. That is also a trap card. Uh, finally, there we got it. This is the monster that we need. We put it in Moon. I'm, I'm doing that deliberately to uh, figure out what trap that is in the back row. Uh, that could have been a fake trap, because um, traps react automatically, mostly on attacks. If it were a fake trap, it would negate our attack. It has a different effect in the TCG that... Uh, never mind that. Uh, we still have another thing going on here that's good. Right. Going in for some more attacks, direct attacks that deal damage exactly to the attack value that we have. It's not lethal yet, but that's okay. Next turn, we're gonna activate the Raigeki and go for game. Oh, there's another Guardian Star boost. Because Earth... It's like Pokemon that uh, ground beats electric, and we had that in there at that moment. Okay, that's Bakura done. He might give us some trap cards that we can use later on. Not necessarily. It's a sea power. That's good. All right, and we got the Millennium Ring. All right, our next opponent is uh, a little sus. You can call him Pegasus. And uh, he may be able, if everything goes wrong, and sometimes with that game you never know, he might play the Meteor Bee Dragon on first turn. And to that we have very little outs, so that might be our first uh, lose. We got a Time Wizard and an Umi, that's perfect. We put them in. Umi is very good, uh, that works with the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. It will give us a plentiful boost. And Time Wizard will make us a 2400 attack monster if we so wish to. Uh, doing a few fusions here. You can also chain fusions into this. We, we, we've gone from Flower Wolf to a Witch on a Stick. That's pretty... <laughs> because that makes sense. It's a wonderful game. Uh, he starts Bikuri Box. That's a 2300 mon. Um, let's hope we can draw into the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. We do not. Alright, so we have to play defensively here at this point. We have Raigeki on hand, so we can get a bit more advantageous. And that is a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon on his own. Right, we have to Raigeki next turn, probably. Out of the cards. That can work. Unless we're going to see a Crimson Sunbird next turn. Uh, that is another fusion, and it's exactly that. So we're still not out of it yet, sadly. Taking a lot of damage. If we draw a dragon... Dragon? Ah, dang it. No dragons. Next turn it should be happening, otherwise we are going to take a lose. Uh, 
That might be it. Me, uh, it's a root Kaiser. Okay. So we still live with 400 life points. Draw me. There it is. Hey. Uh, too bad that's probably not going to matter because um, the eye works a little different. Now, since we have the strongest monster on the field, and Pegasus also controls a monster, it's going to likely play a Raigeki. Ah, that's a loss. That lost us some time. That's unfortunate. So we have to go again. All right. If you have donations, uh, another time to read them would be fine. Uh, I have nothing more to say right now. Jinja donated $200. Oh, dear. Our dearest Dr. Worst Peter, we're proud of you running here. Save Egypt fast enough and there will be extra pineapple juice waiting for you. Oh, yes, please. May the heart of the cards be with you. You can do it. Glad I'm... to contribute. I'll do my best. Thank you very much. Um, that's an insider. Don't worry about it. Anyway, second try on Pegasus. Uh, let's see if we can start with an with a twin headed this time. Or maybe something that has a helpful guardian star. Um that is not it. Alright, let's see what he plays first. It might be another Bikuri box. That's the most likely monster that he's going to play. It's MBD. No, it's M oh no. Man, what a fun game. Uh, let's see if we can out it. Uh, we cannot out it. We have to toss our hand here. See if we can pull another Raigeki, but looks like we're going to take another Yep Death here. Right, that's a back row, that's fine, so we still live. I'm gonna be very honest. Probably not going to win this one, so I'm gonna just gonna attack here. I think it's best if we start with a with a Pegasus that isn't as uh, as, as as big and chunky as the MBD here. But that's also a big curry box, so he does have a really strong start. Unless we top take Raigeki, but that still doesn't save us. All right, go time roulette, go. Ah, dang it, we are not winning. All right, third time's the charm, as they all say. Yep. Come on, time to advance. All right. We'll leave shop again. Just have to draw really good. I might want to take another look at my deck. I feel like something is missing. Uh, these two. I'm gonna check real quick. No, we still have the dragon statue. All right. So we still have. We should have four dragons. Was it three or four? Uh, you know, that, that looks much better. All right. Put a thunder on the dragon, it makes a thunder dragon. Put a dragon or thunder on the thunder dragon, and it makes a twin headed thunder dragon. Say that three times in a row really fast. <laughs> Alright, what's he starting? Whew. That almost shook. Because you can see, you can kind of tell from the Guardian Star that um, they are playing what kind of monsters down there, but that is a Vermilion Sparrow, so that's fine. Could have also been another Meteor B Dragon. It's good that he not played that. Right. Same procedure as always. Uh, draw into good cards. Make big monsters. That's a practical. It's very practical for Pegasus to have. And that is not as good. Alright, we keep attacking. going to be a bit slow, but it still saves us, hopefully, from MBD. He can still 
draw that card for the turn and uh, knock us out. Hopefully that will not be the case. It's another Mars. Another Vermilion Sparrow. We're still good to go. Come on. Okay. No, not this one. Not this one. If nothing happens, we, we win next turn. We are going to win next turn. We are also going to activate the Umi, because Umi is always right play, and it will be the rest of the run. This is the Illusionist Faceless Mage. Alright, we got through! And we also got more dragons. Perfect. Defeat can be bitter. It sure can be. Now we got his eye. We are moving on to the... We still have two duelists left. To beat the world tournament phase. Right there's... You knew, you knew her name from Ishizu. She's Isis in this uh, game. Oh, we got Dragon Treasure. That's a really good drop. Uh... We also got the Acid Trapple, which is going to be relevant soon. Uh, now I need to make some room. Sorry. Uh, anything else I need to put in? I'm just gonna check these real quick. I'm gonna put this away in another um, beast. All right. Now, this is a good old THTD boy. We still might lose this, though. Because just as Pegasus, uh, Isis may have a big monster. She's not playing it. Good. Uh, that can destroy us on the spot. Luckily, she didn't drew into it. We're making Flame Cerberus, and um, there's a lot of water going on here. So we're playing him in Pluto. That gives us a lot of boosts. And if we draw good enough... No, we cannot 3-turn this. Uh, we need to get on another B rank. Well, this might have been it, but we need to play out another turn. Because we need to have less than 28 cards left in our deck in order to get that B rank. I need to make more fusions, maybe. Uh, like... This one and this should be... Yeah, that is enough. Five fusions, 27 cards left in deck. Well, that's a really good start, by the way. Alright, and we win. rank wonderful we might get more dragon treasures or even a widespread rune the best trap in the game if not we'll get more dragons and that's gonna help us anyway uh, also we're returning to title because if you have noticed we got starships and we can use them to buy cards and it's a mega thunderball because we need more thunders, there are not many chances we get more thunders in the rest of the game. So it's good that we have a lot of those early on. We might need to do that very soon again. Anyway, uh, we are now in the finals. It's Kaiba. Who would have thunk? And in all Kaiba fashion, he might play Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, we got another Dragon Treasure. Perfect. Get rid of these. Okay, we need two more spots. Uh, Alright, get rid of these two. Alright. You may have noticed this game, despite um, its RNG hell, has some really good soundtrack. So listen to this. If you got any jammer emotes in chat, it's time to use them now. 
Also, this is an instant win. It's lucky that we drew the instant, the, um... Come on, the... Oh, pass turn, please. The Dragon Treasure. That's going to get over the Blue Eyes if he plays one. Oh, yeah, that's him. That is absolutely him. Uh, you can tell that because he kept it in attack position because, funny enough, um, the AI, if um, the monster has 3,000 or more base attack, the AI will always keep it in attack position, regardless if it wins or not. Uh, well, we play this one. Could have played a three turn, but that's okay. That's okay. He, that's coming out attack, so he's already down on the power level. Next turn, we're going to win. Oh, you put it face down, sure. I'm sorry, I need to pass turn again. Uh, because I need to make more fusions. I think I haven't made enough fusions. So better play it safe than sorry. Uh, yeah. We're gonna make another one. That should be five. Wait, I played the equip. I didn't need to do that. Anyway, we've done it. Kaiba's gone and we've beaten the world tournament. That's the first phase of the run done. Two more to go. Also, since it, um, since this game refers more to the original manga, Kaiba is the uh, holder of the Millennium Rod, not like uh, Marek in the anime. Marek Ishtar did not exist at that time yet. All right, we've collected all Millennium items. They go into this uh, swirly thing. And we are back at the MC Escher painting. And that revives us back to the now destroyed Egypt as the prince that we played before. All right, we've got some dialogue coming up more, so uh See, this is Shadi. We have to make some specific We need to use this and then go out to uh, advance the plot. This is the destroyed city. Right, next up is the mage soldier. He's guarding a map, an item that we need to progress the plot. But he is quite... Ah, he's not as hard. Just two dragons, that's not much, but it's okay. Uh, we put away... What do we put away? Put one of these away. So we've got enough dragons. I think we have enough dragons to continue. Because after this duel... Well, let's say after two duels we are going to do some more farming. And that's where we are going to make the... As, uh, the, the Atex happen in order to get some of the strongest cards in the game. Specifically, one equip, it's called Megamorph. Which uh, boosts any monster's attack by... Uh, or and defense by a thousand. So if we can get at least two after the farming phase... Uh, what's this? Oh, it's Yuri Gomo. If we can get two or more Megamorph after some farming, then we may be able to beat the game. It's never guaranteed. Uh, is that a fusion? That is a fusion. Event right, all right, we're taking some damage. That defense is a bit too high. All right, but next turn we should win. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna set the Umi first and see what is lurking down there. It's another prevent, right? Okay, we are not winning this turn. Wow. What a great game. I 
I'll just play this. Let's play this. And uh, I'm going to play it safe right now. Hey, it's wow, it's another one. Imagine. That doesn't happen often. Okay, so we are out of Mage Soldier. Let's see, he might give us another equip. It's a 3% chance. Uh, let's see if we can get it. We're gonna look that look that up very soon. All right. More exposure. This is Joe. No, not Joey, by the way. Uh, because we are back in ancient Egypt and this is his uh, ancestor. They all have different names. Uh, and this is Teyana, not Teya. And since this is a meme in the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbid Memories community, uh, we are going to battle Jono at the spot. Because there is a very slim chance if we S or A pal him, we can get a Meteor B-Dragon. And that would be a massive, a massive upgrade to our deck. Alright, so that's a good start. The strongest monster he can play is the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Let's see if we can three turn him. For SA power, we try to make as little fusions as possible and use as little cards, or as few cards. That may be what I think it is. Alright, we have to put this in Sun. Because he plays a lot of mass. There it is! Alright, the next card he plays, that is a... Alright. That is good. Uh, oh no, if I do this, that's too much. We should be able to get over it. Yeah, that's just enough. Just barely. Okay. Ne next card decides if we are going to get an SA POW. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. We just play another monster and attack. We can get over this with the Guardian Star. It's Armored Lizard anyway, so it's weak. An attack for game, and this, if I did not make any mistake, this should be an A pal. Alright, we did not get it, sadly. Alright, now we are starting our second farming phase. That means we're going to return to the title. Uh, I don't think we have enough star chips for more thunders. That should be okay. Right, on to free duel. We are going to Pegasus. Because he's the one who's going to give us Mega Morph, hopefully. Uh, and now we are going to get rid of this and all of these. Don't need Umi, one dragon treasure is enough. Do we have more traps? We do not. Alright, so that means we have these. I'm going to put in. Ah, oh, come on, where are the. There, there they are. Alright, so what is ATEC farming? It's fun. It's, it's very fun. Uh, we have to meet some specific requirements to get the ATEC rank. For instance, we have to do a lot of fusions. So this is the uh, Thunderless Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. We put a water on a dragon, put a spellcaster on that, so it becomes a thunder, and any dragon will be enough to make a Twin-Headed. We need to uh, make 15 fusions in this duel. We need to activate a trap, a normal spell, a equip spell. We need to have less uh, three cards or less in deck left. We need to have less than 7,000 life points. And we have to get so-called... Um, oh, we, we also have to play nine turns. And we have to get so-called effective attacks. Now, I'm leaving a small monster on the field in attack position. That's because we need to take some damage, first of all. That is enough. And we also need Pegasus to force uh, to attack into us. There's the trap. That's perfect. It's not bottom deck. 
This is an effective attack, which means we destroy an opponent's monster by battle and deal battle damage. We need to do that four times. All of these requirements are needed to perform the attack and hopefully, on the 3% chance, get the card that we need. Uh, we're going to make this fusion, so three more fusions here. Let's see Spike Seedra, that makes it Kairyo Shin. Thunder on it, uh, thunder on any 1600 or stronger dragon. And it makes a twin headed, toss it all away. Make a weak one. We've got the trap set. As a trap hole uh, activates if the opponent act, uh, attacks with a monster that has 3000 or less attack, which he does right now, so it activates. You activated my trap card! And we needed to do that. All right, more stuff is happening at this point. Uh, we're going to do this because that activates our equip card. Nice. And we put it all the way. But we've got two more monsters in defense position that are low. So that's two more effectives that we can get in. We need to set another small monster. Um, this is a thing. Yeah, that's two more fusions. Ugh. Alright, that should be two effectives. Yeah. Right, all we have to do is put down more fusions and activate Raigeki later on if we draw it. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Oh, this one. I wanna play good. I haven't counted fusions, but that should be 11. And that's absolutely fine. Right. Third effective. I hope you like the music so far. You're gonna hear that a bit more often. Right. Next hand. Uh, thinking. Right, that makes more fusions. This is our last effective that we get in, so all we have to do is get a couple more fusions. It should not be many, if any. And then Raigeki. Also, we need to get down to three cards left. We have eight right now. We draw four, so we are on to four. That, so that means two more turns. Uh, yeah, that should do it. So next turn we activate Raigeki. Also nice life points. All right. Get on Moon, attack in. Next turn we will have exactly zero cards in deck. Draw and it's the second last card. All right. It should have been everything checked. Attack, let's see if we got it. Yes. Well, those drops were trash. We got absolutely nothing. Let me check again. Uh, yep, nothing. So we go in again. So what uh, Pegasus can get us on that S8 on that uh, attack is not just Mega Morph. He can g maybe give us Dragon Treasure or Bright Castle. Bright Castle is an equip card that uh, works on any monster and gives us Typhon attack and defense. He can give us the widespread rune, so that um, that's a trap card. And if any monster attacks into it, um, it's immediately destroyed. And he may also give us a Dragon Capture Jar, which also also works differently in this game. It destroys all opponents' dragon monsters, and that's going to be very important because the strongest monster in the game is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which, by the way, we cannot get. The opponent so much can. Speaking of the unfair part, all right, we're gonna make more fusions. So we need to get rid of the monsters. If we keep any of those monsters alive, he might start to fuse or play Raigeki and that puts us at a disadvantage. So we have to keep 
clearing the board so that the AI will recognize, oh, I don't have a monster, let's play one. Uh, that is one more of these. Alright. I think it's also a good time to talk about why are there cards that we cannot get? Uh, see, this game was um, it, it was released in 2002 um, outside of Japan, but it was released in Japan in 1999. Um, and at that time, there was a thing called Pocket Station. It's kind of like a external memory card sort of thing, something pretty neat. Uh, and it was designed to enhance the gameplay of certain PlayStation One games. Um, that support for the um, for the um, I say the pocket station was uh, did not make it outside of Japan, and uh, the thing is that thing that pocket station gave us access to. This is a bad hand, by the way. Um, gave us access to stronger cards such as uh, Gate Guardian, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and some other cool cards. I think a bit more than 30 that we cannot get because the support outside of Japan uh, did not make it over here. And they forgot to patch it when they released it uh, outside, so... Yeah, we have to work with way, way less. No, I think that was too effective right now, so we still have two to go. The trap is activated, Raiyaki is face down, we still have to equip. Yeah. Do we get Raigeki? Not yet. Uh, that means we can make uh, this, this, and this. I'm just gonna make some, make a small fusion sword arm. No, it's Skelgon. All right, another effective in. There's one more to go. That is not the fusion that I wanted, but the one that I get. All right, we put another small monster down, that's fine. We can get more effectives in, that's good. We are still missing Raigeki, so it's bottom deck. Okay. We draw it. Still not drawing it. Um, but that's Dragon Treasure, so that's good. Uh, come on. So we're left with one card in deck. If we draw a Geki, this should be enough. Otherwise, we're gonna set it face down and see if we can make more fusions. So I'm gonna be honest, I did not count them. We should have 15, I think. Better play it safe than sorry. Is the last card. Oh, wait, it's here. What am I saying? <laughs> Always pay attention to your cards. Yes. All right. So we, that's also fine. So we can make this. Make a Kaminari attack because we put two spellcasters on it. Some fusions. I don't know. Really thought about it, but uh, it's a fun thing to do. There's also a fun thing that I'm going to show you very, very soon, I think. Um, and those are 3D duels, because for every monster in the game, and that's about more than 600, there are 3D polygon models with animations and everything. All right, we got two DCJ, so Dragon Capture Jars, and a Bright Castle that helps us a bit. Not much yet. Put that out. We got also another dragon. We can put that in. And an Umi, that's right. We don't need that right now, but it's good to have uh, more than one. <clears throat> Alright, third duel. Let's see if we can make two more happen and hopefully get a Mega Morph. That would be fantastic. But the Bright Castle's already on. And that's two fusions. We are going to put it. You know, we keep it in attack. So we can get the first effective in. Probably. We do 
not. Uh, Alright. We need to make another big monster. What did he said? Was it the Illusionist Faceless Mage? Probably. Yeah, there it is. Hey. Quick down. That's good. Two more of these. That's not enough damage yet. We need some bit more. Uh, thinking. Now we do this, and then this, and then this. It's a bit of a strong monster that we put down there, but that should be fine. It's three more fusions, so we are at seven. That's our first effective. Alright, this is just enough damage to go below 7,000. More stuff to come is this. I guess we're gonna put this down. It's two more. I'm gonna put in an attack because the attack value is lower. Second effective. this. So that makes another Kaminari attack and a twin-headed. That's three more fusions. And we put that down. That's also the third effective. And we haven't seen the trap card yet. We need that. Um, if it's top deck, then we are going to have a bit of a problem. But it's up for the best. What do we draw? Not too well. More fusions. And that should be 15. And that's also the fourth effective attack. There it is. But we also drew the right Geki so we can close it out. See what the third um, A take is going to give us. Uh, no, right Geki face down first so we can make more fusions. We need more materials. make a bigger fusion. We may make this, so we can get rid of the other cards. Let's see if that's going to be enough for him to attack into. Still might be. Still might be. Oh, pass turn, please. This one down. Oh boy. Alright, that's the attack into the Acid hole. Also, top deck, by the way. That's pretty neat. Draw nothing more. Alright, we can do this, this, and this. Then activate the right Geki. It also counts if you do that on an empty field. Everything else should be set if I've missed nothing. Alright. Third A tag, is it? Yes. My two widespread runes. That is pretty good. That also means we have more traps that we can work with for the A tags. Uh, we're going to get rid of you. Anything else? And more DCJs, right? You've got a playset full of them? Perfect. 
Still didn't get Megamorph though. Right, another one. Uh, this is a bad hand. Thank you for bad hands. It will still take some time. I think no more than two. Unless we get two Mega Morph right now at this ATEC. Uh, yeah, perfect. We've got the equip in. That's three fusions. Let's get our first effective in. Perfect. we get this, so we're gonna set this. Have more cards in hand to fuse. Let's see, all we have to hope for is more cards. And once we are done with Atex, we can pretty much bruise through the second half of the game. Uh, for which we have to beat a number of shrines, because the Millennium items that were sent into cards from the World Tournament now reappear as the actual Millennium items in Old Egypt. And we need to gather them once again. And we do that by defeating duelists. Some of them are very, very strong. There's the trap. Is that just sleeping lion? All right, that's a that's a weak monster. Maybe possible that he's playing more weak monsters, as the AI does. Oh, that's still an alligator. Right. Still not hot on effective attacks. We have 20 cards. I think we have male fusions. Alright, there's the trap that's activated. But all we need is Ragyaki. Uh, we don't need that anymore. So if you toss spell cards and you have monsters in between, then the spell card will absolutely be tossed. The spell or trap. All right, that's more damage. Yeah, we've got enough damage now. Still need to put one low monster down. Uh, yeah. That's three more fusions. Okay. So we still need Raigeki. Do we draw it? No, Raigeki's face down, what do you mean? Some things never get old. There's two more fusions. Don't know if I made enough. Third effective, and I still have one monster. Yeah. So either of them is going to go to the graveyard. Down to Silver Fang, wow. Uh, right, more fusions. And next turn, I'm not gonna do it this turn, I don't think I made enough fusions. Right, next turn we win, and we've got a fourth A tech done. Go a bit ham. Okay, that should do it.
Jesus. Oh, we got another Bright Castle, that's nice. Uh, but still no Mega Morph. I'm gonna try... Uh, let's see if one more is just enough. How many dragons do I have? Not many. We have a place out of Umi. I need to check what we have. Alright. Got two Dragon Treasure, two Bright Castles. Three DCJ, two White Spreads. There's a possibility you can already win with this deck, but uh, don't bet on it. If you're facing down a 4,500 attack monster and all you have is two equips, that's not going to help you beat the game. So having a Mega Moth would be very, very cool. Pegasus, what do you think? Wouldn't that be cool? That would be very cool. Also, we're not... Uh, not getting the best draws. Some of the three fusions, but we cannot get that's a Bikori box, right? Oh no, that's not a Bikori box. That's the first effective attack. Good. That's Paradragon. Alright, we need to make a big monster. Uh, since we cannot make it twin headed at this spot. I'm going to use the equip here. And get over this. So second effective. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna put a monster here. Since uh, that is a guardian star, that is disadvantageous for us. Would have blocked us. So we had to do it this way. Alright, but we also got a trap set. Doing that here. I'm gonna attack again. I still need to take enough damage. I haven't done that yet. Uh, we need this, this, this. And then put on the frog the jam. Okay, the trap is activated. Mark that. Put down more monsters, that is pretty good. Okay, don't forget to keep them attacked, still need to take some damage. Need to go below 7000 life points. Alright, that's the damage taken. And the effective also coming in. Uh, da, 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 da. That's all of the 15 fusions that we need to make. Okay. Regeki, wonderful. All effective stun. And we just need the magic to activate. So in, to in two turns, we are done with the fifth A take. My goodness. Please give me Mega Morph. At least one. I'm going to take one. Two. There is the uh, extra effective, so next turn, we've done it. Oh, 
All right, let's hope for the best. And we got... My goodness, we still don't get it. All right, I'm gonna make the last one. Don't wanna try to... We got six. Six of the... DCJs. At least we got, we got a dragon treasure, so we got three of them. That's nice. We still don't have a mega moth, so we have three dragon treasure, one bright castle. It's tricky. It's very, very tricky. Got three fusions and the equip in. It's going to save us for the rest of the game. Good start. Do we draw? We draw the right Gekki early on. Nice. to be done. Uh, we take these and then put him down. Alright, that's two. I'm very sorry that it's taking so long. Usually after a maximum of four ATEX uh, we should have had uh, Mega Morph. But sometimes the game just does what it does. There comes the RNG part of the game. And there's nothing we can do about it. Sadly. Uh, we take these, so that's three more fusions. I'm just gonna hope that we get at least one Mega Moth after this A tag, and then we can finally move on. Fusions to be done, that's another three. So we're at 11 now. <laughs> it's good music. <laughs> oh, two alligators attacking, wow. Uh, we take these. Take these. I need more effectors, yeah. So three more fusions. We had 14. <laughs> All right. Put them sideways. Go attack. Third effective. That's a lot of damage. Hope I won't do too much on the next turn. We still have to... We still need our trap. Oh, it's another turn alligator. That's bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make us. We're gonna make a smaller guy. See, that doesn't hurt so bad. So we get all of our effectives in. Not the equip. The right Gekki is set. All we need is a trap, and there it is. Eee. Wow, what a great bill. Right, come on, let's see if he attacks, but if he's so... Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. That's a big curry box, probably. Not so much, but it's a monster that gets destroyed. So next turn, we are making this, 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 and this. Yeah. That brings us down to two cards next turn, and then we win. So usually in PB attempts, you would not go for farms this long. Um, the world record currently is at uh, 1 hour and 10. I guess we are a bit behind that. Uh, 
Vivia. Alright, but that's done for the last A tech of the run, hopefully. Hamburger recipe, I love to see it. No, we are not getting it! Ah, uh, that's sad. Well, let's see if we can play around it. Uh, we're gonna move on. Alright, that's six A techs done. There's no Mega Morph. Uh, well, there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, we still have some material to hopefully, probably win. In other cases, we might switch to another farming technique, which means we can farm for a Meteor Bee Dragon. That would be nice. Anyway, we are moving on right now. So let's get some of the next dialogue started. Well, we're still in um, destroyed Egypt. We, uh, if you might remember, we got a map from the Mage Soldier that we beat earlier on. And with which we can go into the depths of these ruins, of the King's Valley, to find this pyramid. It's the source of the dark magic that Haishin used to destroy and rule over Egypt. Also, there's this guy. You might also know him. He is known as Priest Seto. This guy. We are totally not going to defeat him later on. Pfft, that would be crazy. Alright. Read the dialogue, then... That opens the shrines. There's five of them, each corresponding to the elements. So we're going to the sea shrine first, uh, because that will help us as well. We are playing the twin-headed thunder dragon, and that gets a boost. All right, so let's fix our deck up real quick. Uh, we need to get rid of some things, like these. Got dragons, we got uh, this. Uh, then we need some equips. Some of the dragon treasures, one bright castle. Um, I think we can put in the widespread, that should be fine right now. Right, we have... Alright. So we've got four equips, two widespreads, three dragon capture jars, and a bunch of dragon and thunder monsters. Alright. It's a good start so far. So all we just do is, uh, yeah, play twin-headed and win. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a graphical glitch sometimes going on. Uh, don't mind that. It sometimes happens. <laughs> that color does not look healthy. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we're gonna make a really big baby dragon. Let's do that. It's gonna be so big. Oh my god, look at this. It's such a big baby. Here we go. Baby dragon, go! Nice. Oh, that's the twin-headed that does look like a spe uh, um, spike seed draw. Right, you just play this monster. Baby dragon, go destroy them. Oh, you did well. Such a good boy. <laughs> right. Uh, each shrine has a so-called uh, low mage that we g uh, just beat right now, and also a high mage. The high mage usually uh, has um, better cards, or stronger cards. Instead, the ocean shrine is one of the easier ones. Right. There's the big boss of the first shrine. It's two, the, uh, two duels each shrine. Did we get anything good? No, we did not. Sometimes they can drop uh, big um, dragons, so we can make uh, Twin Headed a little easier and a little faster. <laughs> Uh, that is also an auto win. Uh, we tossed that, we don't need that. Alright, put down. Draw into something. It auto wins us the game, so it's fine. It is a labyrinth wall. Uh, yeah, we can actually put one equip here. Going for a B rank here is actually better, since you can draw... Uh, or uh, get Thunder Dragon as a single drop from this guy. There's the Labyrinth Wall. It's a big defender. Don't want to see it. We might see it more often, hopefully not. Right, just play a monster. This should be fine. Go onto the side. Okay, the first shrine is done.
Right, four more to go. And here we get the necklace. Since we already have the puzzle, that makes two items. Uh, between each shrine, just to be safe, I'm going to save. Right, this is our next shrine, the Mountain Shrine. Another field spell that uh, gives us a boost since we are a thunder monster. So did we get... we got a Labyrinth Wall that might be useful soon. Get rid of these. Uh, the plants, we need the plants. Alright. Second try and start. There is a slim, very, very slim chance that we can get an MBD here, but that's a very, very, one of the lowest chances possible in this game. But we still might be able to, so why not go for it, of course. Uh, we did get one of these. We can make these so they get a boost. Alright, that is definitely an SA power. We might get good stuff. But let's hope for it. Okay. That is an S rank. We move on to the high mage. Now he might be a bit dangerous since he can play a monster that has a 3,700 attack and that's a bit bigger than our twin-headed. We got... well it's not bad, we got some good stuff. We got the meteor, it's the small meteor dragon, not the one that we need. But it's a tier 2 dragon and we also got Kaminari attack, a tier 2 thunder that um, makes our deck just a little bit better. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play Raigeki face down because I want to see what he plays first. Alright, that's back row. That is a spell card. And you can determine that because it uh, became dark when the cursor hovered over it. If it stays bright, then it's a trap card. So you can uh, take those apart from each other. Alright, we can attack for through Yeah, for, for big damage, for big number. Because bigger number means better monster. Uh, do we... Can we just do this? We just do this. That's a three turn. just want to make this one. I didn't need to, but here it goes. Activate the Raigeki. Destroy that monster. Attack for game. Alright, we got good. We got up pretty good. So that's two shrines done. Um, now there is a bit of a path that you can take. You can either keep doing the shrines, all of the five, and the finale will be a di bit different. So the finale is um, one of the hardest finales in all games, because you have to beat at least six duelists in a row without uh, losing, or else you'll have to start over. There's no saving in between. We can take a bit of a detour um, to duel two other duelists. That would be Seto again, and a so-called Labyrinth Mage. And if we do that and win, uh, we are unlocking the final six, so we only have to beat six guys. We got the Crawling Dragon, that is also good. Uh, get rid of this. Uh, now we have to edit our deck, because now we are playing Umi. And what else am I going to take up this one? I'm going to bring in the Labyrinth Wall. And two of these. That should be fine. Now, just let me check again. Uh, that looks good. All right, we can move on. And if you keep, uh, if you take on the um, five shrines without the detour, then it's final seven. So there's one more. Uh, this is pretty darn good. Yeah, we can go with that. 
So we're playing the Stone Dragon right now because it gets a boost on the Wasteland that we have here. But we can also play Umi to change the field to our advantage. Uh, anything else we can play? Uh, yeah, we're gonna actually play Umi right now. So you see this animation, it turns all blue. Alright, that should be good to go. So next turn we can play something big. And we should be done in... Oh, never mind. Back to Wasteland. Thunder Monster, that's good. So we can play these. Get in another equip. Go in one more. Alright. Raigeki, next turn we win. No problem. Since you can only play one card per turn, that is fine. They will not play spell cards. That's not how the AI works. If there's no monster on their side of the field and we have one, they will always play a monster. Alright. That's half of the shrines done already. It's B rank SA would have been better, so we can get more tier 2 dragons. But let's keep moving on. We don't have time to waste. Alright, we didn't get anything good. That's okay. Our deck is pretty solid. Um, it would have been better with Mega Morph, but let's see if we can maybe cheese out something more. Uh, we're gonna play the white spread right here. Uh, fun fact, yes, you can play traps face up in the game and they will still work. See, there's a stone D. They will attack. And oops, oh boy, who could have thunk? The white spread activates. Uh, that is a good card to draw. Okay, that's also good. Do we draw? We draw another one of these. So we might be able to come out with a quick win. And there's a chance we can get a Zoa, a 2600 beat stick. That may help us win the rest of the game. Alright, here we can activate Rageki and then win in three turns. Okay. Good, that's three shrines done. Two more to go, and the other two are some of the harder ones. If not the hardest. You will see why. Move on. Just another safety save. Alright, we are now onto the meadow shrine. Uh, the low meadow mage that we're going to beat now, this guy. Has the highest chance of dropping MBD on a whopping 1% if we SA power him. We did not get the Zoa, but that's fine. Uh, let's hope we can draw into anything good because there may be a time where he can wall us with a 3500. Just need to draw good. We did draw good. And the first monster they play, it is... Which is it? It is a sun. That's good. That is good. That is also good. We might win this in three turns. Okay, so next turn. This should be the win. Nothing bad happens. Copium. Uh, we need to make one fusion here. Okay. Alright, let's hope for it. There are some other good monsters he can uh, drop since uh, uh, some things like Dark Magician. 
or uh, a Skull Knight, which may be helpful. Let's see, we're going to th uh, going through the drops. We got it! We did get the MBD. That is absolutely big. I'm going to return now, because there's a chance we can still lose this. And if we lose on the high match, then all our progress is do uh, gone. We don't want that. We're going to build the deck and put in the MBD. Uh, MBD, please. Yes, there's the, the big boy. Uh, anything else I need to get rid of? Yeah, these two, please. MBD and the Kaminari attack is a good drop as well. Uh, just checking if I miss anything. Right. Go back again. We need to save that. So for the case that we will lose, and I hope we don't, we can always get back to this save without having to do more deck edits. All right, Meadow Shrine once again. Since we did return, we have to beat him one more time. Yeah, that's good. All right, so MBD does up our chances of beating this game. As I said, it's not guaranteed that we do. I'm gonna put these two. Got a lot of thunders here. Put that in Pluto. All of the Pluto gang rise up. And it's an Empress Judge start. Right. If we don't get SA power here, that's okay. We can live with one MBD. Uh, I guess we can also live with this. We need to put that in Moon so they don't get the boost. It's gonna be a bit slower. We are probably getting a B power here. So that means no MBD in this case. Uh... Alright, we have to pivot around that. Whitespot could have been tossed. And that's fine. That's another... Oh, that's a Millennium Shield. Actually a big top deck. Wow, that's the 3k defender. Had we not played Umi, we wouldn't have gotten over it. I'm just gonna put an equip here. We didn't draw more thunders. We need to draw more thunders. Uh, more, uh, more dragons. Oh boy. Oi. I think the game wants to tell me something. Alright, Umi's always the right play. Well, let's play that. And let's see if we can draw into MBD, that might also be good. Another Sogan, that's good. So no monsters. Ah, uh, yeah, I did say that uh, the AI will always play monsters, but for the field uh, cards, that's a bit different, but only then. Alright, so we got through it again. It's a bit slower, sadly. Uh, we didn't draw into uh, an SA POW rank. We still may be able to get another Kaminari attack, which may be useful. Anyways, we are now advancing to the Meadow High Mage, and this might be a problem. We did not get anything else. Okay, because he has Gate Guardian, and it also gets a field boost, so it has 4,250 attack, and there's a big likelihood he's going to play it. Right, I'm gonna keep the equipment, toss the rest. Put it in defense and uh, say goodbye. So what do you play? It's a moon, it is, there it is. Second strongest monster in the game. Right, we did draw the widespread. There's a lucky he take attacks with it. Uh, hopefully he does not delete it. He's gonna play back row. No, another monster. It's another moon. Right, so we get rid of one gate guardian. It's fine. What is this? B skull dragon? Alright, that is beatable if we draw into the right hand. We draw into the right hand. Play the Pluto. 
Okay, good chance that we can win this duel since uh, the AI will gradually decrease in power with monsters. Unless he top decks. But that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Alright. Put down the twin headed attack into uh, attack into this, please. Thousand Dragon. Good. That boost is fine, it's not enough. We attack with this, and that should be just enough. Yes. All right, here we go. Right, four shrines done, and this was absolutely the hardest shrine in the game. Just one more. We can also get Kairu Shin, which is another tier two dragon. Right, there's the eye. Another save. Anything can still happen in this run. Okay. So there we have the Forest Shrine. First mate should be no problem, it's twin headed and win. Did we get anything? We did get we did get the Kairushin, perfect. So we can replace them with better ones. We can toss this, we don't need that. Right, three turns, we should be done with this. And the High Mage is able to play the perfect ultimate Great Moth, which on this field has 4,000 attack. So it's a similar threat to the Gate Guardian that we saw early on. All right, nothing to worry about here, we just attack. Go punch him in the face real hard. Oh, can we get another twin headed? We cannot. Uh, let's make Umi happen. Because Umi is always right play. Back to forest, but that's fine. Right. Four turns, that's also good. Just keep moving. Alright, and that's a win. Final duel before we hit the final seven, for this is the final seven. Uh, seven duelists in a row that we have to beat on the first try. Also, more thunders, that's nice. Okay. Well, it's this one. Do we have still... No, we still don't have them. Then I might remove this. All right, let's move on. Okay, uh, let's see if we can draw into widespread. Widespread would be our best out. There's MBD. We can also play the MBD. Um, MBD alone just won't be enough. I'm gonna try and fetch for an equip. If we can. MBD has the Mars Guardian Star, which beats um, the Guardian Star that uh, the perfect ultimate Great Moth is in. But that only makes it even, and we don't want that. Oh, he's starting super low. Never mind. We can actually totally beat him. Alright, let's do that. Show them the power! Good stuff. We can also play Umi next turn so that we actually have an advantage. Let's see what they play. It's something in defense. We can play Umi next turn. So far we are good to go. It's a pretty easy start. Alright, next turn should be the win. Absolutely. Wonderful. We can also play the Raigeki. That's a bit faster. Okay, and we're done. We're done with shrines. 
And that's the second phase. Second phase of the entire run. We are now approaching the finale. We're back to the hiding card shop. Another save. Save before the finals. All right. So you may think, since I set the estimate to 2 hours and 30, that the time is going super well. It, it's gonna take, if all goes well, 17, 18 minutes to beat the rest of the game. Oh, that's doable. Uh, don't be fooled. There's going to be... The next duelists are going to be the hardest of the entire game. That's for a reason. Do we get anything here, by the way? Not so much. I think we can get rid of this. It doesn't do much. So far, our deck is relatively set. Let's see if we can go through it. So we're now going to the Labyrinth Mage, which does not give us a good hand. So we have to toss these, put them in defense, and let's hope he doesn't play a Gate Guardian, because there it is again. All right, it's a slow start. Yeah, all right, that's a good start. That's a very, very good start. Just need a Thunder. Thunder, there it is. Right, next turn should not be bad. There's still a chance he can top deck. Still a chance. Uh, so we're gonna play it safe right here. 3800, that is a monster he cannot beat. And that's good. That might be... Ah, uh, it's in defense. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what it is. Alright, it's a great mammoth. It could have also been a uh, wall shadow with 3000 defense. What well, was a bit of a gamble to attack here. We come out strong, so that's fine. And since we beat mages relatively fast... Oh, hey! Top deck! What do you know? Anyway, it's right here. We win. Okay, six left. Uh, since we beat Mage relatively fast, uh, I did not get to show off the fake outs because there's another little uh, trick you can do to kind of manip the AI into thinking, uh, into not attacking. I'm uh, just gonna beat this. Where's the Labyrinth? Hope you're paying attention. We might go through this a couple more times. I do hope not. So what fake outs are are. Um, you can, on specific duel lists, set monsters face down, regardless of what their values are in attack or defense. And there's only uh, so much of a percent chance that uh, the enemy will attack into it. For all of the high mages, that percentage is 25%. So if you're sometimes in a pickle and you cannot beat uh, the strong monsters that the mages, uh, you know, summon, um, just put a monster face down in defense and see if they will attack. Right, we got more thunders. Uh, we quite have enough, actually. We're not gonna change anything of that. Uh, that's my start. It's not perfect, but we can deal with it. Let's see if we can draw into a thunder next turn. Because on these duels, we should have at least Umi or one equip to beat the rest. No, 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 no. We make good fusions. We make good fusions. We are making the good fusions. Right. I'm just not gonna attack. There's probably an acid trap hole that's going to destroy my thing. He starts with Metal Zoa. There's a 3k attacker. Do we draw into an equip? What is we can play Umi too. Why not? Let's do that. We know it's the right play, so we do that. That is a wall, perfect. So we can just play more monsters, and then Raigeki next turn for win. 
And that is the back done. That is definitely one of the easier ones of the finals, final six ones. If we were going for the final six, then we would immediately start with the back and uh, skip the Labyrinth Mage. If we happen to lose, we have to beat the Labyrinth Mage once again. But it should be fine. Right, Geki, and then attack for the win. Right. Five more to go. Now, it does not seem like much, but the big things are still going to come. So let's hope for the best. Right, do we get anything? We did get another Labyrinth wall. Well, we might hold onto that. Wait, we got Dark Magician? That cannot be. Not on a B pow. I saw something with Dark, definitely. Uh, right, this is a bit iffy. We are onto Neku and he plays a bit differently. Uh, differently. Do we see a Harpy's Feather Duster? We do. Because I did set it back, though. Uh, that's alright, but we need to probably... Okay, we do not need to toss anything. Never mind. I mean, if we did get a Dark Magician, we can put that in. It helps us... Well... A bit. Anyway, we are going to win this since we do have the equip now. Right, more twin headed. Uh, we are heading for the twins indeed. Yep, yeah, please, come on. Metal Guardian, that's pretty low. So we might win to uh, we might win next turn. What am I saying? Of course we're winning next turn. Okay. It's been a long time since we saw our MBD or Meteor B Dragon. And let's hope we can get back into it. Another B rank. For SA power, you would get more. Alright, and there it is. It's Haishin. We finally get to beat him and end all this madness. Uh, we did not get the Dark Magician. Alright, let's get that. Alright, nothing more to add. So, what does Haishin play? Uh, Gate Guardian. And let's hope we can get over that. So we need two equips. Um, this might be strange. Whitespread is a nice start. He may play a Feather Duster himself, which deletes all our back row, and that does it. A bit iffy, but it can work. We are now going to set the Raigeki and see what happens next. He is going to play a back row. It's a magic. Okay, that is... Fine. We're going to delete our hand completely, so we can draw into better stuff. Um, that also means we can attack for free. All right, that's free 2800. Next turn we can Raigeki if he plays anything big, and that's probably going to happen right now. So what's it? It's a Gate Guardian? Yes, very much so. Okay, so to beat this we need at least two equips. Uh, we can also play an Umi, um, but this is kind of odd. All right, let's play the uh, let's play the wall here. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we might get our Regeki here. A bit too afraid that he might play a second Harpy's Feather this time. If he does, then we are in a very bad spot. So let's see what the next monster is. It's all right. That's Regeki. So we do take some to the face. It's Metal Zoa. Okay, if we draw into an equip, we win. We do not draw into an equip. So we have to hope for the next draw. Unless this is going to be a death and we have to start again. Oh, he starts with this one first. This may be another Metal Zoa. Is Zera. Uh, no. No, no, no. We are not going to win this one. Yep, that's death. So we have to start again. I'm sorry. 
but also not draw into the MBD, which would have instantly won us the game. Right, another try. We had 154. We have probably time for two more tries. Um, but I think since we do have some time, we can go for another MBD, actually. So entering the farming two, se uh, farming three th uh, session. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one. It's a bit easier to do it in free duel than on the um, story duel, since we are starting with an empty field, no magics, no uh, no field cards activated yet. Oh, so I want to do this one. Now let's put it in defense. He's likely to start with a Sogan. Or not. Maybe a Dark Stalker. And a Sword Stalker, so that means we can easily get over that. Let's see if we can. Okay. So if our monster survives next turn, we can get another SA POW. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, that is also good. If it's low, it's good. Oh, no, it's a Millennium Shield top deck. That's unfortunate. Then we might not get the SA power. Uh, or do we? Wait, we can still do this. We are on 28 cards left in deck. This still might be an SA pal. So we go into this. All right. Then we go into this and hope that, yeah, we get over this. And that's 56 damage. Another SA pal and see if we can get more good cards. Come on. We didn't get the Mega Moth, but at least we get one MBD. I think that was... Okay, we got a Dark Magician, actually, this time now. It's not the best, but it's fine. Also, a Curse of Dragon, which is another Tier 2 Dragon. And... Uh, yeah, let's put in the Dark Magician. For the Thunderball here. Right. Alright, we're gonna do one more. See if we can get either a Skull Knight or maybe another MBD. You never know. And then, uh, after this duel, we will continue our tries. Uh. Okay, yep, that's good. Still gonna take some time. Uh, yeah, we can we can ride Geki that for sure. That's a bit faster. All right, so let's see what we get next time. This is another SA pal. We got a Skull Knight. That's better than the Dark Magician that we got. Perfect. All right, we can move on. Skullnet is going to help us for the first uh, three battles in the Yami field, the dark field that we saw. Skullnet is here. Uh, get rid of the Dark Magician right now. Save. Oh, I still have some time. All right, let's move on. Back into the labyrinth we go. And let's see if we can beat him first try.
Uh, that might do it. White spread is a good draw here. You also play something face down. That is a trap. Uh, that might be, and I'm gonna be a bit careful at this point. This could be a so-called reverse trap. Yeah. Because if we start to equip our next twin headed, um, those boosts might get negated and instead um, they subtract our boosts. So let's see if that will happen. We're gonna test this out. It is a reverse trap. I've got a low 1,800 on the field. Still, this is fine. We're going to win next uh, uh, next turn. We've got the Raigeki. Trust you, Raigeki. You never fail. It's not oh, double gate guardian. This is uh, very unusual. All right. But here it is, Raigeki into the spot. Get in. Get in for the big damage. Right, we did it. So did you guys remember where to go through the labyrinth? It's right, right, left, right, yeah. Alright, here we take the left. And the right, and there we are again at that door. So that is not where the hand should go. And then we move back to the last six duelists and uh, so for the best. Alright, did we get anything? More thunders maybe. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, draw me into a Skull Knight. That would be fine. That is not a Skull Knight. We can start a White Spot, sure. He's running into that. Zoa or Metal Zoa? It's a normal Zoa. Which, by the way, is stronger than the Metal Zoa. Uh, oh yeah, we can do this. And that wins us this game. So for the first two of the Yami field, we need one equip to win, or Umi to stay on the field. Well, hey Shin, we either need two equips, or maybe get rid of... Or oh, hope that he doesn't start uh, Gate Guardian, which can also happen. And then start something lower. Uh, this is going to help much. Ah, uh, we changed the field. Trying to make everything watery. That's a launcher spider. Oh hey! Finally get to see our, uh, see our big boy again. Bit late, but you know, better late than never. If we can get to see MBD on first turn on Haishin, that uh, is going to immediately win us the game. On most cases. Um, Haishin can also play an MBD. That'll be a bit weird. <coughs> Sorry. Ah. <sighs> All right, five more to go. We are almost there. Almost. He said and then died. Do we get some good stuff? We still not get good stuff. Oh, this game does not like me today. No Mega Morphs. We did get the one MBD, but for the rest, ah, could have been more equips. Anyway, we're starting off. Yeah, we're starting off strong. That's a Skull Knight. Uh, we also have our Skull Knight. And the 
doing the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> And this might also be an SA pass, so there is also a chance to get more good stuff, such as Zoa. Um, yeah, this is gonna win the duel, of course. All right, four more to go. That's the PB for this run. Let's see if we can get past this. Because if we do, we're going to face the strongest duelist in this game. Alright, here we are again. Let's see if we got anything. Anything worth mentioning. We did not. Oh, we keep going. So, widespread start, MBD start immediately wins. Jackie start would be a bit iffy. This is... Uh, this is bad. Uh, don't put the equip on. We still don't know what he plays. If I put on the equip, he plays a gate guardian, then that equip is gone. So let's see what he plays. We are getting to see a monster. It is a moon. It is a gate guardian. There it is. So twin hit another equip. Do we get that? Oh, we got the MBD. Finally, yes. Right, we can put that in Sun, that's the secondary Guardian Star, and we can punch it over it. If you have not noticed yet, um, the AI will always play the primary Guardian Star of their, uh, of their monsters. Right, I think we can start to get in. We have control of the duel. There's another one in Moon, might be another Gate Guardian, might be a B-Skull. There it is, a B-Skull. Can we? I guess we can't. If we draw another equip, then we might SA POW. I'm gonna do this. That's also good. So that's a moon in defense. That means it's a wall shadow. Alright. Getting an SA POW in Haishin means there's another slim chance of a second MBD that we can add to our deck for this run. Let's get it. Alright, we're gonna skip the drops right here. We're gonna see it in the next screens. Alright, but now Haishin is done. And we see this fella again. It's Seto. Priest Seto. He's gonna lead us somewhere. We know this room, yes. But there's a hidden wall. We touch it. And then it opens to a stone plate. And in that room, we are going to duel him. And this son got Blue Eyes Ultimate, so we have to make adjustments. We did not get the MBD, sad. Uh, we are going to remove the Umi and replace them with the Dragon Capture Jars that we thoroughly farmed. Because this is one of the strongest duels. Can't express it uh, strongly enough. So let's see what we start with, and this is Yep Monster. So we discard all of it. Nothing of it will beat. 4500 is nothing to joke. Widespread would have been such a fantastic start. So let's see what he plays. That is... There it is! The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Can we... Alright, we've got the Capture Jar. So it's gonna create a big swirly and... It's gone. Alright. So that also leaves our field empty, that's a bit, uh, it's not so good. The next card he plays, it's another Sun. It's a second ultimate, 20% to play that. For the first one it was a 57. That might be Yep Death. Unless we place this and he does not play... Nope, it's Yep Death. Ah, cool. Like this, yes, it's perfect. There's nothing you can do. Mega Morph could have saved off if, if, if we had two. If we do widespread first. MBD itself wouldn't have would not have done much. Sadly. As I said, it's never guaranteed to beat the game. 
I hope we can make it through. We still have some time. Uh, so we just jump in again. We have to go back in here. And go through all of that again. Alright, so we did set our deck. Let's go in. Another white red star is good. Wait. Do we see another trap? No, it's a fusion. That is a twin headed. No thunders in this spot, that's a bit unlucky. So I'm just gonna play this, it's a Sword Arm of Dragon. We will not go in for the damage, just uh, stay here right now. Oh, that's a Gate Guardian. That is not a Gate Guardian, never mind. anything else to talk about oh we have to talk about how this is the best mon in the game let's punch over it All right, not enough next turn we win and that's gonna be fun let's make this try happen let's make it happen Boring Ocean Snake that's pretty low. Alright, so we got out of it. Six more to go! Right. Right, right, left, right. We did not forget. Back into the small cutscene. through the back door to go to the last six people. Again, Sebek is going to be easy to beat. Neku might be a problem if we don't draw good enough and uh, we've seen Haishin and Seto before. And there's two more that we have yet to see. I hope we can get to that. So did we draw? We got another Labby wall. More Thunders, but we have enough. Uh, no. It's widespread time again. Let's do that. Do we see a back row? No, it's a monster that runs immediately into the white... Never mind, it's a... Is a wall. Is a wall I cannot get over. That is a magic. Alright, we can beat Sebek from here on. It's gonna take, let's say, yeah, this should be this turn, then the next one. Alright. Anything, if he's, if he's gonna play anything that's bigger, he's gonna run into the widespread that's still there. Or just uh, get rid this way. Right. Attack. Great. Right, five more to go. Once again, it's five more to go. Another labyrinth wall. 
I'm just going to keep it there right now. All right, so back. Uh, need another equip to start. We do get the equip. Unfortunately, nothing else. All we need is a thunder and we're good to go. All right. That is to be expected. All right, draw me a thunder. Actually getting the thunder, nice. Right, that wins us this game. We're just gonna see how fast it's gonna be. Right, get rid of this one. Alright, next time we win. Alright, if we do not win this complete try on final seven, there might not be enough time to, for another try. So we have to wait, we have to make this work. I shin the second. Third times the charm. Did we get anything? We did. We did get a crawling dragon. Good. That means more tier two dragons. Uh, yes. Okay. Come on. Let's make it happen. It's either MBD start, widespread start, two equips, twin headed start. What do we get? Uh, that is super risky to activate Umi here, but it might save us since we do have Raigeki in hand. He might play a Mega Morph. He's not playing Mega Morph. Okay, that wins us this game. Perfect. Umi always where I play. Never fails. So now we can play this with the equip. We are making a 3800. And this cannot be beat by Haishin. He does have some equips just like Megamorph to boost up his um, monsters. But as said, the AI is um, only playing monsters or just single magic cards for specific reasons. To beat the rest of the... Uh, to, to, to make a better position. He's gonna attack this right now. It's another Gate Guardian. Still starting off strong, Haishin. Come on. Two more turns it should be. an MBD. Thank you, game. Yes. Remember to stay hydrated. Never, uh, never forget that. I cannot play more monsters, I'm too low on life points. Right, next turn we will get you for win. Alright, we are bet on back on set of three. Another slim percent uh percentage of chance that we can can win this but it is there and he is still the strongest duelist similar procedure we have to draw it's best if we can draw into two white spreads also don't forget to put in the dragon capture jars those have happened before let's keep playing with umi So this should be... 
This is probably going to be the final try. Let's see. Did we get anything? We got a B Dragon Jungle King, another tier 2 dragon. Uh, back to the Umi, discard all of them. Get the Dragon Jars in, alright. So for the best, prayers in chat. Alright, and we're starting... This... If we get another equip, we can win this. We need another Dragon Treasure. Then it's doable. Then we can at least contest the Blue Eyes Ultimate. 57% to start. That's likely going to be it. There he is. Alright, do we get a DCJ or another equip? Oh, uh, none of them. Alright, we have to keep dueling like this. Unfortunately, this is not going to do much. We have to draw... We only can draw three cards at this point. That's a bit iffy. But he plays back row, that's fine. That is also a widespread rune. You can only play a widespread. So if any of our monster, monsters attacks... Then yes. It will be gone. Right. We have to keep playing defensively. We are still in. Still lost no life. The next monster. It is a gate guardian likely. Yes, there it is. What do we draw next? Oh, there it is. Um, now, I have to, now I have to think. So we cannot attack, unfortunately. Wait, we put it in sun. No attacks. Alright. And all we can do now is... Uh, go, baby dragon! Baby dragon! No, baby dragon! <laughs> Did it for the good cause. Alright, we get rid of this. So we're still facing two monsters right now. More back row. That is not a widespread. Uh, this might be... I need to think. We're gonna play the Capture Jar, so the Blue Eyes Ultimate is gone now. Oh, that was a Black Skull Dragon that we saw in the back. Perfect. Um. Um. Oh, no, please don't. No, no, no. Oh, no, come on. I'm just gonna wait for a bit. Let's see if he captured. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Oh. Well. Hey, that never happened before! <laughs> yeah, let's see what we get here. Oh, we win this duel. We are winning. Chat, we're winning! Right, what is this? It's a Blue Eyes Junior. Oh my god. What a nerve-wracking moment, hey. We got it! We beat the strongest duelists of them all! Two more to go. We are still in this, and we are still practically in time, but this is, uh, this is the final attempt. Alright, we've got another cutscene. Uh, turns out Haishin is still alive, and he threatens to take out Seto if we don't give him all of the Millennium items. And this is the actual reason uh, the Millennium items exist. So we can put them on this um, sarcoph uh, sarcophagus, and we revive the Dark Knight. And he's got a perfect angled beard. Alright, we've awoken him. Haishin tries to command him, but it turns out... Uh, whoops, you're now a card. He says, no, please help me. And uh, turns out that... Um, he's got a lighter and he's, uh, he's gone. Uh, bye, Haishin. Never see you again. Now he tries to threaten us, but lo and behold... Look, we have cards! We want to duel you! And as all reasonable villains, um, he accepts. Okay, we're moving on. Um, Dagnet is a bit different. His strongest card is MBD. But he likes to play a lot of back row if we don't beat him quick enough. Uh, never mind, we win. It's, uh, good hand, good hand.
All right, that's a B Skull Dragon start, probably, so we can cheese in some damage. Yeah, and it's gone. Uh, please do not crash. Thank you. All right, 4,000 damage in. We might win next turn. The next card that he's playing is... That is a Cosmo Queen. The Guardian Star is good for us because we can play a Twin-Headed, put it in Moon, and yeet over it. And that's Dark Knight. All right. Good run going. We've got a good starting hand. Now, Dark Knight and Haishin have a lot in common. Uh, they are both sore losers. Uh, he's saying, no, that doesn't count. Look to my final form. Look at me. And we have to duel him once again. But he has a completely different deck now. Uh, because all he plays now is monsters. Unfortunately, those are some of the strongest monsters in the game. That makes him the second most dangerous duelist of them all. If we can start with widespread, ple pretty please. <sighs> Disappointing. No widespread stars. All right. There's a 20% chance he can start with a blue eyes white dragon, uh, blue eyes ultimate dragon. So let's see what he plays. Pretty, pretty please do something low. I would like to beat this game. It's a moon, it's a B-Skull Dragon, okay. Good start. Now we need this in an equip. We do not get the equip. We do not get the equip. Um, right, so we cannot beat him. I'm gonna keep the Kaminari attack. I hope that is the good play. All right, next monster comes in. Oh, he fuses, never mind. It's an MPD fusion. All right, we're in trouble. Right, so we have to draw our own MBD or get twin-headed with a uh, two equips. Or another DCJ. Put him in sun, don't forget that. Right, we can activate the DCJ next turn. Copium that he does not play anything good. No blue eyes ultimate dragon. He can still top deck. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. We activate the DCJ, please do not crash. Right. Okay, 37 left. We can win this. Alright, that's good. Uh, yeah, we can yeah place this uh, trap face down. Just to be safe. Like Luster Soldier, he's gone. So next time we can play... Yeah, that should do it. Alright, we win. We win unless... Uh, we're not big enough yet. No, okay, we do not win this turn. If we get over this, it's a wall shell. It's a Trihorn Dragon, so he's pretty low already. Alright, Skull Knight to attack. So what do we see? Oh yeah, there's one thing I wanted to show you. Which I cannot show you because he attacked with the Trihound Dragon. Um, uh, this is fine. Uh, let's see if we can bait him once more. Or is he still attacks? No, I really want to show you this. This is fine. Uh, right, we set the Raigeki. If anything happens, that's fine. Unless it's a big monster. It's only on 50 life. Come on, attack. Right, he's got his own Skull Knight, so we get to see... I'm going to show you 3D duels! Alright, so if we press this, we're going to in a little cutscene. And we're going to see two of uh, some of the most beautiful 3D models. Even if that puts us a little overestimate, that's fine. We're doing it for... There it is! It's our beautiful Meteor Black Dragon! And on the other side, there's the Skull Knight. Now watch this. He's attacking, charging, and... Dang! That is a lot of damage. Skull Knight could not take it. 
It's gone for good. We did it. We beat it. But yeah, all of the monsters in this game have these polygons. They have two different attack animations depending on the Guardian Star. And we did it. And get ready, it's time! Wow, what a run. I did not believe, I'm gonna tell you, I did not believe. It's 16 seconds under estimate. Wow, what a run. Wait, yeah, that is early. Let's check out drops, let's check out drops really quick. Get anything in, uh, exciting. We got the Enchanting Mermaid. Some of these drops are uh, nightmare only. And we also get to hear the most painful scream And he's gone. And there we are. Seto left. We'll never see him again. That's us, the prince, the one and only. We are now called Yu-Gi-Oh! King of all games. We can also save now. Finally, we did it. Also, we get a neat little code. Uh, this is for Duelist of the Roses, another game. So we can get a free card. They already thought of that. We finally get to see the credit scene. All right. That was Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories from me. Uh, shout out to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories community. Um, thank you for having your back. It's pretty good. Uh, there's also a current tournament going on in the Forbidden Memories 15 card uh, category. Uh, so if you want to try this game for yourself in this variant, uh, keep checking the oncoming races and other racers. Um, pretty high tier stuff going on. And... Um, Shoutouts to everyone who believed in me and believed in the heart of the cards. It's most important. Uh, I hope I did you guys justice and uh, found a lot of joy watching this run. And until then, have a nice rest of the day and hope to see you again soon.